For today's loft visit, we come to Doncaster to visit the fantastic lofts of Mr. and Mrs. Ray Stillcorn. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Keith. Thanks very much for having me around to see the pigeons today. It's quite all right. How long have you been in the sport, mate? Since I was seven years old. Yeah, can you remember one or two of your best performances? Uh, I was one, two, three Yorkshire Federation. Uh, the, the following week, I was first and second with the same pigeons, Doncaster Federation. Uh, I've topped the Amal at Le Mans. Uh, I've won um, the Doncaster Two Bird Sprint Championship Club twice. I've won uh, what they call the Yorkshire Continental Club. Yeah. Uh, How many times you, uh, have you won the Federation? I'd say to 10 to 15 times at least. What sort of distance do you like racing? I, uh, I I like to race from 43 mile to the very last race 500 mile. But my favourite is 500 mile, which I have the top of the federation out of twice. This cock has bred 13 individual first prize winners, plus seven individual fed toppers, all with uh, different ends. He, has, he should have topped the federation four times himself, but he lost it through bad trapping. Yeah. He was in, injured, and it was a godsend that he went into Stockholm. What firm is he then, Ray? He is Lafredanian from Mazarellas. Yeah, lovely cock, beautiful wide pigeon, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's done his job. What system do you race on in Ray? The Widowed. Yeah, was it Cox? Cox and Ends. Yeah, was it like a roundabout system? No, Widowed. Yeah, do you um, show the hens on Friday night? I, I do show them, but in a, a different way to anybody else. My hens is put in a basket and left for the cocks to fly in over the top of them. Yeah. And one week I'll vary it, I'll say I'll lock my cocks up in the basket and let my hens fly over the top of them into the shed. Yeah. So they actually see the birds in the basket? Yes, yes. How about on a Saturday? How long do they get the ends for? On a Saturday, the the ends as were them all day and they split off Sunday morning. Yeah. How about feed? What do you feed? I feed uh, the Sheiky Makers um, Concord. Yeah. And do you break down? Well, I don't break down, no. Because my ends is the the very hard trained and my cocks are. This is insane inside one of the Woodward sections. How many cocks do you race on Woodward then? There's right. uh, eight in here, but I, uh, I, there's generally ten. ten. And you keep them on a semi dark, don't you? Well, like yes, cocks. yes, that's correct. It is. You can call it a semi dark system. I put them in them them boxes after they've done an hour in the morning. Give them the breakfast. Then I put them in the boxes in the morning. Lock them up, seal them up so they can't see out. It's completely dark. And then I can let my ends out and my ends can also trap into the shed. And they're happy. They're playing about in their own shed and their own boxes. Yeah. But you've got to watch them preparing up. Yeah. And that's the ends. This pigeon is known as Charlie 2. He is bred from a first amal topper called Charlie 1. He has two first, first clubs this year and two, well, one third fed and one third amalgamation, taking all the money both times. On one bet we have a shown on £96. He won that outright. Uh, and that, you know, he is a pure Lafredanian. Beautiful cock, mate, isn't he? Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. These are young birds, and how many babies you breed each season? About 60 to 70. Yeah, and do they race right and through? The, yeah, they've got to see the coast. Every pigeon in this young bird shed will have to see the coast. 
Uh, they're no good to me if they don't see it coast, no. which is uh, 200 and odd mile. Um, the, 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 you know, the cocks what show that they want to be pairing up and that. They are trained now on the Widowed system. They will go into the boxes and learn to be Widowed cocks as young birds. Yeah, so you so t teach them as babies to be Widowed cocks for later on in life? Yes, and that will be their home until they're a two year old and they'll move up into other Widowed yet. What families of pigeons do you keep in Ray? Lafredanians and Leapertons. And I have got an odd Catrice about the place. Yeah. Where do they originate from? The Lafredanians is all Mazzarella's 1976, the first ones in the country. My Leapertons is from Brian Robson of Thorn. And my Catrice is Ronnie Miller's. How about training your pigeons? How far do you train your old birds? I'm tra tra training my old birds, they, I like to have them at least, you know, 20 mile a day, if possible. Yeah. If not, if it's bad weather, they still go and they'll go up 12 mile. Uh, this cock is his first club, third fed, fourth amalgamation fallets. He's a Leaperton. His, his uh, grandfather or great grandfather had 21 first prize winners. He's, he is known as Porky in Brian Robson's shed. Uh, I can't really say no more about him. He's, uh, he's, he's scored as a young bird and uh, as a yearling he went to Falaise and then I stopped him and I put him on my as a two year old. He's come and done the job. Yeah, the, the loft, uh, the pigeons, the pigeons won the loft, the money for the loft, which we built ourselves, me and a, a few at lads in the village, we built it all ourselves. It's 56 foot long, it's got eight sections, uh, there's two sections for widowed cocks, which you can make into four sections for widowed cocks if you want, but I use two of them to train my young birds for the widowed. Then I have two young bird sections down at bottom and then a weaning pen of six foot for the other babies, for the later bred ones, and then a, a eight foot stock shed on the end of it. You trap through the open doors, I see. Yes, the trap through open doors. You lose time with traps. <coughs> yeah, these, these are my widowed ends. I keep them in a, in a, a separate loft altogether and I keep them locked up, boxed up. But I do race these ends. These ends are all raced on the, the uh, widowed system, not a roundabout system. They race to their own sheds, to their own cocks, what they originally paired up to. Uh, and I, f I, I do score with the ends as good as the cocks. How many stock pairs you keep in right? About 30 pair. Yeah, how about pairing up? When do you pair your birds up? Uh, I pair my pigeons up on the uh, 28th day of January. It was at stock birds and races? All the lot, and I'll swap some of the stock birds' eggs into the racing stock. Yeah. Alright, Ray, thanks very much for coming around to see the pigeons today. It's been a great pleasure. It's quite alright, Keith. I hope you don't make it a regular habit. <laughs> <laughs>